Fire in the hole, let's cook this chicken daughter kebab. Stay tuned. Hey everybody. So to make this uh, chicken daughter kebab, what I got in here is a dozen chicken thighs. Skinless, boneless chicken thighs in this bag. And we're gonna marinate this. We're gonna get this on a skewer, and I'll show you how we're gonna cook this on the rotisserie. First thing we gotta do is put some Sang stir fry oil in there, of course. Because we love Sang's with the garlicky flavor of Sang's, and we just wanna get about, we need eight tablespoons of oil in there to get on that chicken. So that's about how much we need right there. Okay, we got our Sang's on there. Next thing we're gonna hit it with is some Slap Your Mama. Slap Your Mama is uh, salt, pepper, garlic, and cayenne pepper. So we need about two good tablespoons of that in there. That's good stuff. Slap Your Mama. Then we need a teaspoon of cumin. A teaspoon of cumin in there. Cumin's a strong spice. Don't want to use too much of it. And we got a teaspoon of onion powder. A teaspoon of onion powder. And we got some allspice. A teaspoon of allspice in there. Allspice. Then I've got some. Uh, this is fresh thyme. I'll take some of this fresh thyme and slice it up and get it in there. About half this bundle of fresh thyme, I think. Just slice that up a little bit, cut it up, put some thyme in there. I want that thyme to get up all over that chicken. We're gonna we're gonna smush this all up. On, you'll see. Get some of that thyme on there. Fresh thyme, nothing better. There you go. That's not gonna work. You gotta cut it up. Okay. There we go. Not cut up enough yet. Here we go. Time. It smells good already. Let me tell you. Okay. Let me get my time on there. Next thing we got is the juice of two lemons and the zest of two lemons. I'm gonna, I'll zest them up and juice them later. But here's the kicker of this. We've got a can of tomato paste. That we're gonna put in there. Tomato paste because we want this marinade to be a kind of a pasty marinade on this chicken. And we're going to work that all over that chicken and get that tomato paste and the thyme and the garlic and all that stuff on there. And uh, we're going to let that go overnight, get the rest of that tomato paste off of there. We want this pasty marinade to go all night on that chicken. I got to put the lemon juice in there yet. I also need about five cloves of garlic, which I forgot to bring out here, but that's okay. I'll get them in there too. And I'll put a recipe in the description as well. I got this uh, recipe, the idea for this from a lady, I think it's a lady, who's got a food blog. And I'm gonna, well, I'll put the link to her food blog in the description as well. I got it off, she, she posted on Reddit. And I got it off of Reddit and went to her food blog. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna massage that chicken, we're gonna massage that, uh, that pasty marinade all in that chicken and let that run overnight as soon as I get that lemon zest and that lemon juice in there and some more garlic. We'll let it run overnight and then tomorrow we'll skewer it up and make this chicken donor kebab. So I'll come back tomorrow. No, you don't have to come back tomorrow. Just stay tuned, okay? Bye. All right, I got my chicken thighs well marinated as you can see. I transferred them to a bowl. I got my assistant Eric out here. He's going to help me skewer these things on this barbecue skewer like this. And we got a bunch of them to do, and we're going to do them. And maybe I'll fast forward through this, and maybe I won't. Anyway, this this uh, this is excellent. You can smell that barbecue marinade on there. It smells so good on those thighs. And you see what I'm doing here. I'm skewering that chicken in layers, like that. And I got that, uh, I put some of that crushed red pepper on there. Really good. Yeah, let's get that on there. Looking good. Kind of a two people job here, don't you think? 
But anyway, I got my assistant here. He's uh, consented to help. You know, it would, probably would have helped if I would have separated these into the larger and the smaller thighs. But anyway, we're getting it done. We're getting it done, so it ain't no big deal. Here comes a smaller one. I'm gonna get it separated out. Oh, that tomato marinade is so good. It smells so good. Oh, yeah. Look at that. There you go. Now we're getting it. Yeah, you could fast forward through this if you don't want to watch it. That's cool. I got some uh, extra skewers here that I'm going to use to stabilize these when I get them all in a pile. And uh, I'll get them on the grill. I'll get them on the rotisserie and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Get that skewered up in there. I got to get the, get the rest of them on there and get the other skewer. Hope you can see that. Okay. It's kind of dark. But you get the idea. You see what I'm doing. Anyway, uh, yeah, let me get that on the grill and I'll bring you right back. Stay tuned. So my chicken doner kebab is all skewered up on the uh, rotisserie spit and I got some extra reinforcement with these other metal skewers. I'm going to get that on the barbecue, get that spinning and I'll show you what that looks like. So please stay tuned. My chicken doner kebab is spinning on the rotisserie. Looking pretty good. We got some pecan wood in there for some smoke flavor. It's got all you can see all that garlic and pepper and tomato on there. That's awesome. We got a drip pan underneath. Got, good thing we put those two skewers in there to hold that all together. That's got to cook for about an hour. And we might have to wrap some foil around it so that the inside gets a chance to cook as well as the outside. But anyway, I'll bring you back in about an hour, hour and a half, and we'll check on her again. In the meanwhile, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I need a beer, so stay tuned. Okay, my uh, chicken donor kebab is rocking right along, and it's time for a beer. And I got a very special beer today. I got this uh, premium brewed Folded Mountains Pale Ale. I got this Aldi's, and it was recommended to me by one of my subscribers, and I'm sorry, dude, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce your name, because I know I'll get it wrong. You know who you are. <laughs> it starts with an M, and his first name is the same as his last name. But uh, I can't even, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. So this is an American Pale Ale, and it's 5.3% uh, alcohol by volume. I think it's going to be good. Give it a shot. I'm going to buy beer at Aldi's now. They got everything else. You might as well get the beer there too. In fact, that's where I got the chicken. But yeah, look at that, American Pale Ale. It's a beautiful golden ale. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's take a sniff of that. Smells good, smells like a pale ale should. And it's got just enough head on it to make it interesting, Roll, huh? What do you think? Not too much, just enough, a light, light lacy head. Let me get a swallow of that. I am dry. It's very good. It has 5.3 alcohol, and it's really not, uh, doesn't have much alcohol bite. Very nice, tasty ale. I'll be, I'm gonna buy more of this. And I get it at Aldi's, that's the kicker. Aldi, who knew Aldi's was gonna have all this cool stuff? But they got this beer, and I don't know where it comes from. I, I didn't read about it on the label much. But uh, Folded Mountains, there it is, Folded Mountains. That's our beer for today. Let me get my uh, chicken donor kebab off there and get a taste of it. Stay tuned. Took about an hour and a half, but my chicken donor kebab is done. And I did have to wrap it in foil because, you know, see the outside piece has got a little bit of uh, a little too crispy. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna slice off some of this 
chicken. Guess I'll start here. Yeah, that looks good. Get some of that. Oh yeah, look at that. Should have brought a fork, huh? That's okay. You want to, uh, you could slice this as you're cooking it too. You could slice it and taste it and eat on it, you know, and uh, let it get uh, cooked up. Well, I got some pieces of it off of there. And I got a tortilla right here. And I'm gonna put those pieces on the tortilla. On a tortilla. Can you see that? Yeah. On my tortilla with some chicken and some chunky salsa. Some nice chunky salsa. And I got some, uh, can you see that okay? Yeah. I got some of this uh, hallowed sauce that Tango Joe sent me from New York. And we're gonna put some of that on there. Oh boy, is that drippy. Put some of that hallowed sauce. That's good sauce, it's a green, a green hot sauce. It's really good. I'm gonna wrap that up and take a taste of that. Mmm. That is excellent. I love this idea of stacking the meat and cooking it on rotisserie. And I want to thank the lady who uh, I got the idea from. I'll put a link in the description. I can't remember her name, Mrs. Somebody or other. Anyway, that's my video. That uh, <laughs> the chicken couldn't be any juicier or tastier. It's really good. Mmm. I can't stop eating it. You know, when you wait an hour and a half or something, <laughs> after marinating all night, you kind of get a little impatient. But anyway, that's my chicken donut kebab. Hope you liked it. Uh, you know what I always say. Come back next week. We may not cook anything good, but we will drink a beer. Go over here and subscribe to my channel. I only need 200 more subscribers for 5,000. And when I get 5,000, we'll have a big giveaway. And you'll be included. Go over here. I see my boy Rivet Gardner. Rivet just passed 1,500 subscribers. And he deserves about 10 times much as much as that. He's an excellent cook. He's making some excellent stuff. Go over and check out Rivet Gardner. Subscribe to my channel. Come back next week. This folded mountain is excellent, sir. I don't even want to try and say your name because it's too hard for me to pronounce. Too many, too many consonants. Anyway, come back next week. We may not cook anything good, but I bet you we drink a beer. Rock on, babies. <laughs>